Hey guys, from the Story Sass Assassin, welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we are doing this Jew Estate Unico series, Year of the Tiger. From Smoke One, if you have one, move this a little bit. <clears throat> from Smoke One, if you have one, Eric, uh, he sent me one of these. He's like, oh, I see this one, and he sent over. Yeah, so. Uh, let's take a quick look at the cigar. It is gonna be MSRP $24.38. The ring gauge is 48, so 6 by 48. It's a Grand Corona. Wrapper is USA, Connecticut, Bradleaf, and binder is Brazilian, Matafina. Filler is Nicaraguan. Okay, so with this being like that, you know, with the gold wrapper, it's like a theme that they had going on so ever since. The year of the rat one that they came out with, so yeah, we 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 will open it up and start smoking it. It's that simple. <clears throat> now we'll revisit the uh, the band in, in a little bit. First, let's take off this golden wrapper. What the? Where is the opening? Come on. I don't want to I don't want to rip this into pieces. Come on. I might have to. I might have to. I can't find the I can't find the edge of this thing. So, I might have to destroy this. You know what the hell? What Come on. You know what? Nope. No way. I had to. I had to. Uh, I had to rip this apart. It's like uh, a chocolate. Yeah, here we go. I found the tape. All right, here we go. It's under the band. Like, uh. Dude, why do you have to make it so hard, man? All right, whatever. I just don't want to destroy the cigar while I'm doing this because this is kind of dumb. So they taped it out, so it's impossible to find the the, the, the seam of this thing. So it had you like unravel like chocolate. What the? It's everywhere. Come on. I hate this. There's no easier way to do this? Come on. Oh my god. Whose idea was this? Uh. Who's, whose bad idea was this? Alright, I can only rip up all the way until... The band because you can see that the it's, it goes under the band, it goes under the band, all right. But we can look at this uh, cigar. It's very like uh, matte, chocolatey looking, powdery feel to it. Yeah, broad leaf look for sure. Now, on the camera, you can see there's some dots. From actuality. That dot is actually not nearly as visible as on the camera. So. Ooh. All right. A very sweet, sour, sharp 
chocolate note. Very, very, very strong smell. Very good smell. Very good smell. <clears throat> Cut. This cap bothers me because the way they, they glue the cap, it leave the line at there. You can tell like that could break at any time, so. Draw is acceptable. Draw is acceptable. For now at least. But you can you can feel like I can feel that this. Oh no. Just like I said. Came off. That line was there to start with. So I knew it was gonna kind of come off. But there's another cap under it, so I'm I'm thinking I can just rip this apart and call it a day. Yeah. I'm just gonna do that. All right, <clears throat> let's light this up. Cold draw is just kind of woodsy and leathery. All right. We'll get there. Almost. Post that a little bit, get the sides. Okay. Hmm. Damp, leafy, woodsy, grainy. What is that? Almost like eucalyptus taste. You guys know what I'm talking about? Go out and find eucalyptus um, cream and just open it and smell that. That's, I, I, I taste that a little bit. Woodsiness, uh, woodsiness is start to kind of ramp up a little bit. It's kind of that grassy earthiness that is kind of similar to that eucalyptus things there. But now you start to get some some wood some pepper pepper flavor but not pepper burn it's kind of weird pepper flavor but not burn oh it's not true okay okay start to burn very slowly i don't know like the flavor is like in and out. It's not really want to go through, but it's very slow. Um, the pepper, even the burn of the pepper is progressing very slow. It's not really like, it's not instant. It's not like a full distribution of that flavor instantly. It's more like, uh, slowly wear. Yeah, that's how it tastes like. You know what? Let me smoke one third. We'll be right back and talk about this cigar. You're the tag. You're right back.
<clears throat> All right, so I am going to say this is one third because this side is one third kind of, and this side isn't. And I think there is a a big problem with this cigar. The soot and moisture builds up in this cigar and clogs it really quickly. I can almost taste moisture. It just builds up. I mean, it's got some good flavor, but so short lived. And it's, uh, uh, it's also got a little bit of creaminess, short lived. Very underwhelming the way it's delivered. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm gonna touch up this a little bit. But look how much I had to touch up. It's just ridiculous amount, right? So. Yeah, what's with that eucalyptus smell? It has a little bit of grassiness, earthiness, a mineralness to it. No bitterness, so I know it's not my problem this time. No bitterness. Uh, but it's just all the flavor is short-lived. It's just not well delivered. I'm going to tap this ash off. You can see like the burn is very uneven on this thing. It's got a little knob. It's, it's... You can tell like... See that? The construction of this is not very good. That's all I'm going to say. So yeah, that's the first third. Very disappointing. But on the contrary side, on the other side, I do like the footband. The footband is very nicely put together. The, the, the character they use for Tiger is absolutely correct. So I'm going to give them that. I'm going to give them that. That's nice. All right. That's nicely put together. Not a lot of information on here, but it gets the message through. It's got a the theme and everything. So... I like that. But a cigar, can't say the same. So, yeah, second and third. Be right back. All right, so second, third. Now, I start to feel like this cigar is weird. Um, we talked about how this is, what, Matafina and um, Broadleaf and uh, Nicaraguan. It tastes nothing like it. Now, I can taste... A little bit of that quality, but number one, the pepper burns now. Like after, I think the flavor just kind of changed in the halfway point when I smoked it. That all of a sudden, pepper ramped up. Creaminess and has a little bit of that woodsy taste. That reminds me of... Mm, It, it does taste like Nicaraguan, but it also tastes like a little bit of Honduras weird woodsy taste. None of them are long lived, right? The, the flavor is short lived. It goes away really quickly and I burn kind of got better after the halfway too. So I don't know. It's um It's hard to describe. It's like I'm smoking a cigar as if somebody swapped the cigar and put a band on it. It doesn't have that boldness of the broad leaf. It doesn't have a lot of the quality of Matafina. It has some quality of Nicaraguan. That's what I'm getting. So. I don't know what's up. But yeah, last third. We'll get through the last third. And we'll get to the summary. And we'll talk about the cigar a little bit more. But let me finish this up. Be right back. Alright, so. Finished up. I want to say last third. The flavor is even lower. There's nothing special about that. Now, I do want to say that the box itself that they created is actually quite good looking because it's got the box and it's got that tiger print in the middle. So props there. Are uh, the bands okay except this one, main band? You can see 
this is in there. So unless you rip up the band, it's really hard to get these pieces out of it. So, but design is pretty standard. You have to dry again on there. Uh, I don't think the design language is the same. This versus this, you tell me if they match. They kind of don't, right? So there's that. So in terms of the enjoyment aspect, I would say if you didn't get the box, this is roughly a ten to eleven dollars cigar. If you got the box, it's roughly thirteen dollars. All right, that's the enjoyment I got out of it. Uh, compared to the the twenty something and change, I I I don't think it's nearly there. This is at best thirteen dollars. Okay, so there is not much to hype up the cigar. And I can see why that's not really talked about by a lot of people. It's not one of those cigars that is that exciting or uh, the flavor profile blow you out of your mind kind of thing. It's not the design language kind of confused and the cigar itself, construction issue, uh, draw issue. Uh, obviously the sap and stuff like that has to do with how they ferment it. Didn't do so well. So I wouldn't buy them again. Well, I didn't buy them, but I wouldn't go out and buy them. Okay. So yeah, if you didn't smoke this one, you didn't miss a lot. All right. Yeah. So that will be it for this particular review. Uh, if you like it, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, give me your thoughts, and share this one. If you want early access, we got membership. If you want swag, we got swag. Uh, T-shirt to support for people that's not in the Legion. And also we have podcasts on Sundays. So... I will see you in any of those. See you guys later.